That's different, by the way. There's also something called the Tech Museum here in San Jose, which is different from the Computer Museum. The Computer Museum has great stuff. And, and the Tech fact, Museum, I imagine, would be is also like home home application devices and stuff. Yeah, uh, it's more sort of a science, general sciencey kind of museum. But the Computer Museum has all the old toys. And yeah. in fact, is if you go to the Computer Museum, they actually have <clears throat> they have old pieces of video from my shows explaining some of the stuff. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> There's also a very interesting exhibit in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Most people don't know it, but Microsoft actually started in Albuquerque. Yeah. And there's a there's a museum there that actually has some really great stuff of the early early days of. of what was that? The Altairs or? Exactly, exactly. Was there a computer crash in '83 or was that just the video game crash? Because I know Mark. No, that was just the video game crash. I don't know. That was video game crash. Yeah. Because yeah. that that's when the computer market boomed right there. Right. Yeah. Now the early '80s when everything started happening. Sure. I mean, I got my first computer. Oh. Uh, early, yeah, early, probably late in seventies, maybe. I think I got my first TRS eighty and my what was it? What was the very other one? There was uh, the early Commodore, Commodore sixty four, uh, probably nineteen seventy nine. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow. My first so, computer was in nineteen eighty five, the Amstrad one five one two SD. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. right. You guys had those European games, yeah. Oh, you had millions of choices in those early days, and everybody was, you know, trying to figure out what was going to work. And they're always trying to put a brand name on them, where they found out it ended up being the best way to go was to be uh, IBM compatible, no name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's an interesting story too about, you know, you know, sort of business people classically talk about Apple and Steve Jobs and what a mistake they made by thinking of themselves as a hardware company instead of a, a software platform, an operating system company. And had they not gotten trapped in thinking we build boxes, they could have become Microsoft. They could have become Windows. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they'd been willing to go out and license the Mac OS, you would have had all the Mac clones out there, but they never wanted to do that. For a short period of time after Jobs left, they did. Yeah. And when Jobs came back, they stopped doing that. Because you did have Mac clones for a couple of years back in the late, maybe early 90s, I think. Yeah, during yeah, I don't know, the mid '90s, Apple just success was terrible. The thing that amazes me with the Mac is just how similar to the iPhone um, it is when it comes to its release. You know, there yeah. was a huge, there's a huge outburst of, uh, of a buy right at the very beginning. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. all these weird and strange applications coming out for it that yeah. people haven't really figured out what direction they're going to go with and stuff yeah. like that. You know. And it just, it's just absurd how how similar, you know, they're, they're following the pattern again, you know? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I don't know if you uh, know about this, but Apple's been buying up, I mean, like uh, hiring uh, these key game designers. They're, there's rumors they're planning out to come with a new game console. And I try and tell people, do you ever remember the Apple Pippin? Yeah, right. If they know, and it's like, well, yeah, look that up. Yeah, right, exactly, exactly. No, I mean, the interesting rumors about uh, Apple now are... Uh, either a, a ebook reader or a really high end netbook or tablet version of a netbook. I mean, it's hard to imagine gonna Apple's going to. Yeah. How hard to imagine Apple's not going to get into this whole netbook and. and uh... Yeah, they've already got the MacBook Air, you know, the three thousand yeah. dollars paperweight. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hey guys, I got about like, another uh, five minutes on the iPhone and the netbook. Okay, I, I heard you. All right. So, anyone got any last questions? Since we're starting to run out of time. Um, um, I had kind of an Apple question. Um, sure. I've I've noticed here lately, like definitely with the iPhone. Um, you know, they're they're up to like the third version of that. You know, you had that. Yep. iPhone 3G. Now you got 3GS. 3GS. Uh, yeah. It, it seems pretty aggressive. Uh, were they like that back, uh, like in the early 80s? With, with the, uh. Hard yeah, I think, I think I mean, you know, the, the computer industry is a funny game because you've got to always find an excuse for people to buy a new version of something. <clears throat> you know, it's sort of like cars in a way. So uh, it's all a marketing game. I mean, you, you've got to hold stuff back, and then six months, a year come along and say, oh, this now does something the old one didn't do, and you've right. got to go throw out the three thing you just spent a couple hundred bucks on and buy another one. Yeah. So, I mean, that's all, all part of the strategy. I mean, uh you know, there are, there are certain businesses like, you know, kitchen appliances 
or cars these days, which are suffering because the damn things last too long and then no new version really comes. I mean, if you buy a new car, it's not really radically different from the car you had 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to buy a new car, but in the technology field, you kind of have to buy a new phone. You kind of have to buy a new computer because it's going to do something the old one didn't do. Plus, you're going to throw all that marketing pizzazz and advertising behind it. So it's uh, it's not necessarily, you know, a lot of that stuff isn't technology driven. It's really marketing driven, I think. And even, I mean, there's some really ridiculous things going on. If you look at, for instance, Microsoft Works, you know, which is bundled free on most PCs, you know, they actually go out of their way to remove features from Office just because they want to force you to buy Office. I mean, they spend money making Works worse. So and it's like a teaser. It's just a marketing game. And I always use works. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a handy little free program. It's an oxymoron, you know? Yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Does anyone have anything else before we close, then? Uh, I think we've, we've covered just about everything, haven't we? I think we know? did a pretty good yeah. interview. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, well, nice, nice talking to you guys. It's nice to uh, yeah, talk, nice. talk think about these things. Really nice to talk with you. Yeah, this was nice. Yes, I it's agree. It's been a pleasure, Stuart. Thank you for having me. Okay, pleasure meeting you.